Hello and welcome back to my channel Asian Programmer. So today is not a lecture or not any learning, but the thing is that my, one of my friends sent me this question that he said that you teach us the sorting with the sort keyword in C++ and you said that it's working great on everything but there is a problem like called big sorting and that particular sorting is not working over there so it, yeah, he sent me this question let's read it out together so we can understand better so what it's saying that it's saying that there was like a string array and the values in, in that particular array will be less than 10 raised to the power 6 digits in every test cases so that's the question so let's go to the sample input and output so we can easily understand what they are saying the constraint is like simple I have read the constraint it's like the value of n will be like less than 10 raised to the power 5 and the value in between the string array will be less than 10 raised to the power 6 so here is the sample input what it says that the first line will be uh, giving the total test cases the 6 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values. We're going to get the 6 values. And we need to sort these values. So the problem in C++ is that if the value is bigger than like 19 digits or 20 digits, you cannot store it. The biggest value you can store in the C++ in long, long end, it will be like 90 or 20 values. That's it. You cannot, 90 or 20 digits. That's it. You cannot store more than 20 digits in a particular data type except string in C++. So if we can store this in string and sort this out, then there's going to be like a problem over here because string doesn't work the sorting uh, the same in the same way like it happens on the integers and the other values, the real values. So let's try and show, show you guys what I'm saying that why the simple sort will not going to work on this particular thing. Let's code it in a simple way which will gonna show us an error first. Then I will try to change that code a bit, modify this code into in which I hope so this will gonna work. Okay, integer n as the number of test cases we will get in the first. Okay, this will get fine. What we need to do, let's make a vector of string type because we gonna get like a lot of strings we have to make an array array or a vector so i'm just making a vector okay vector size would be like n the total test cases because we're gonna get like six or whatever that n will be let's make a loop in which we're gonna see values in that particular strings i less than n and i plus plus Okay, as you see, these strings, these values don't have any space in between. So we can just see in it, use the function scene. That's it. We don't need to use the get line function of the string because there was not space in between. What we need to do is array of i. Uh, that's it. We just get the scene. So I told you guys you can sort a vector. <coughs> Sorry. I told you guys you can sort a vector with a sort keyword in C++. And you just need to write a dot big n, comma a dot n, and the vector will be sorted. Yeah, that I I told you guys with that you can just solve a whole. We can just you can just sort a whole vector. But if we can do if you if you guys do like this, but there will be a simple error, not syntax syntactically, but it will be a logical error. Let me show you what I'm talking to you guys equal 0 i less than n i plus plus so we need to print every sorting value in the next line okay with an ender okay let's copy this code and test this code on the test cases sample test cases okay okay i'm just putting this code and run this code let me tell you what i'm saying that simple sort will not gonna work over here Okay, it's a wrong answer. Why? Let me show you. So our in output was like this. 1, 10, 3, 3, and this big value with 3 and 5. Whereas the expected output was this. As it should be. So why? Why does it showing like that? Because if you can see that the first value is the 1. 
okay that's uh, completely correct the second value is 10 so what it's done in the sorting it checks the first index which is 1 and it compares with the third value of third value first index another string uh, the string of first second value uh, first index and the third string uh, first index when it compares like 1 with 3 the 1 was less than so it just prints the 10th value which which has 1 on on its first index then it goes on to the other string then it compares 3 with a 3 and the prints both the 3 then that it can it just checks 3 with this value it also has 3 okay so it prints this value then this check this value with 5 so the when it compares the first index of both the strings what it will get it is that 3 was less than 5 so it prints that particular big value with before 5 that's why the simple sorting over here is not working so what i need to do i just need to make a bit modify in that particular string sorting function okay let's do it like this add a comma what i need to do i need to make two extra strings in which i will store a left string of the first first value then the right string of the second value then i will just compare these with each other and then if there there is like the length or the size of first array is less then on the length i will make the comparison not on the values in between if i make the comparison on the values that the that is the error which we get before and the sorting problem was not solved so what i need to do i just need to do like this i need to make a two strings let's say constant uh, string name it left okay i just need to make another string constant string right okay now in between what i need to do i need to i need a one if condition to check on the basis of the size if left dot size okay is less than right dot size no I have to check like not equal yeah if there is equal then we have to check like just left is less than right but if it's not equal then it will be gonna work okay if left dot side is not equal to right dot side like the string length was not same then what I need to do I just need to return to this function okay left dot size is less than right dot size Okay, I know this is a bit complex that you will just learn learn this because you have to, if you want to do the learn the whole language then you have better understanding of this sorting function as well else I need to do left is less than right okay I need to return this as well return so these values are not returning in in any function or anything these values just returning to this particular sort function okay that which, which we are performing over here it is not returning values outside of any other uh, functions or like uh, any other like operations it will just return this value to this sort uh, operation we are just performing over there okay i think that is perfect okay let's copy this code again and run it on the sample test cases Okay, just run it. I hope so this will work out. Okay, the sample test case is passed. Now let's see the answer. That is the expected out output and that is our output as well. So now look at that. First, it will check with the length. Okay, the first, the size, what I'm saying is the left dot side is not equal to right dot side. Then the left will be less than right. So what it is checking that first it will just get all the size of one strings then it will compare one is less than three yeah it just print one then it compares three is less than three these three is less than equal to three so yeah it just i it can print left or right both are the same so just print three and three then it compares three with the five because both are the, for the same length then it prints three and then five 
then it compares 5 with 10 as the length was increased so it obviously that the left was less then it, it compares with the length and that's how it prints away now we just need to submit this code and let check this out that it will pass all the test cases or not okay it's working it's working yeah all the test cases has passed so that's it for today i hope you guys like it so if you guys have any problem with the code i will just put this code in like description as well so you can read the code as well do like and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye